Hi, welcome to the battery shop. The 12 volt battery on this 2013 Chrysler 200 is in the fender well. Yep, in the fender well. So it's a little bit hard to get to. So for that reason, we're gonna recommend that you check with the vehicle manufacturer's step-by-step -step instructions to be sure that you're familiar with the project before you start, you have everything you need, you don't forget anything, and you can safely and efficiently replace the battery in vehicles like this. Let's get started. The first step is to disconnect and isolate the negative battery cable remote terminal from the remote battery post. The next step is to jack up the left front of the vehicle and secure the vehicle on a sturdy jack stand. Then, remove the lug nuts and the left front tire. The next step is to remove the push pins for the wheelhouse splash shield. Then, remove the three body screws, and you'll need a 7mm wrench for that. Now we can remove the front wheelhouse splash shield. The next step is to loosen and remove the battery's hold down bracket bolt. And you'll need a 13 millimeter wrench for that. Then remove the battery's hold down bracket. Next, loosen and remove the lower battery side bracket bolt. And you'll need a 13 millimeter wrench for that. Then, Loosen the upper side bracket bolt and swing the side bracket down and out of the way. Now with gloves and safety glasses on, 
The next step is to loosen the fasteners for the positive and negative battery cable clamps. And you'll need a 10 millimeter wrench for that. Then, remove the positive and negative battery cables from the battery. Now we can remove the old battery. And install the replacement battery. Now we can reinstall the positive and negative battery cable clamps onto the battery terminals. But don't pound these terminals on, as this can cause internal battery damage. And retighten the fasteners. Next, reinstall the battery's hold down bracket. And retighten the fastener. Then, reinstall the fastener for the battery's side bracket. and tighten both fasteners. The next step is to reinstall the wheelhouse splash shield. and then reinstall and tighten the three body screws. and then the push pins. Now we can reinstall the tire. and retorque the lug nuts to the proper specification. Then we can lower the vehicle from the jack stand. The last step is to reinstall the negative battery cable remote terminal.
and retighten the fastener. And we're done.